It was in Paris in the 1830s that the words the socialisme, socialism, and the communisme, communism, first came into use. Socialist ideas varied greatly, but most socialists wanted more central direction of industry. Not all socialists were hostile to the market or to private property. Communists were more extreme. They generally wanted to abolish both private property and money. One of the most influential of the secret societies, called the Society of the Seasons, was led by the celebrated revolutionary Louis-Auguste Blanqui. This society did not yet employ the words socialist or communist, but was as hostile to the aristocracy of money as to the aristocracy of birth. The society had a solemn ceremony for the initiation of a new member, in which the new member was blindfolded throughout. The new member was brought before the president and members and reminded that traitors would be put to death. After the president had asked a few personal questions, the ceremony proceeded. What do you think of royalty and kings? That they are as dangerous to mankind as a tiger is to other animals. Who are the aristocrats now? The aristocracy of birth was abolished in July 1830. It was replaced by the aristocracy of money, which is as voracious as the former. Must we be content with overthrowing the monarchy? All aristocrats must be overthrown. All privileges must be abolished. What should we put in its place? The government of the people themselves, that is the republic. Are those who have rights without duties, as is true of the aristocrats, part of the people? They should never be made a part. They are to the social body what a cancer is to the human body. The first condition of the social body's return to justice is the annihilation of aristocracy. Will the people be able to govern themselves immediately after the revolution? The social state being gangrenous, heroic remedies are needed to return to a state of health. For a period of time, the people will need a revolutionary power. In short, what then are your principles? We must exterminate the monarchy and all aristocrats and replace them with a republic that is a government of equality. But in order to bring about this government, we must employ a revolutionary power to ensure that the people exercise their rights. Our enemies are numerous and powerful. They have all the forces of society at their disposal, while we Republicans even have our name outlawed. Are you resolved to risk a sacrifice of fortune, the loss of liberty, and perhaps even death? Yes. Your reply is a proof of your strength. Arise, citizen, and swear the following oath. In the name of the Republic? In the name of the Republic? I swear eternal hatred. I swear eternal hatred. To all kings. To all kings. All aristocrats. All aristocrats. And all oppressors of humanity. And all oppressors of humanity. I promise to give my life. I promise to give my life. If this sacrifice is necessary. If this sacrifice is necessary. To bring the reign of equality. To bring the reign of equality. And the sovereignty of the people. And the sovereignty of the people.